Hello, Dumelang, San Bonani, Molueni, and a warm welcome to the Maths Genius Video Tutorial Series brought to you by SABC Education. In these tutorials, we help you unleash the mathematical genius in you by showing you key mathematical concepts and how you can master them for success like a true genius. Today we'll be looking at the measures of central tendency and focusing on the mode. So, as you know, the type of data that you have is the one that determines which is the best average to use. Because remember there are three types of averages. There's the mean, there's the median, and the mode. And all of them are called the measures of centrality or measures of central tendency. Where we're saying it's that typical number, that expected number, that average where if you're told that generally the class at 50%, you have an idea of how the class performed. So the mode, the mode by definition is the one with the highest frequency. So the recording or the mark or whatever it is that you're measuring, the one that is most frequent. So let's say in a class of five, the marks were as follows. The first one got 50%, second one got 50%, third one got 50%, fourth one got 51, and the last one got 61. So that means that the one with the highest frequency is 50. So in, that means that in this data set, the mode is 50. Why? Because it's the one with the highest frequency. Right, where do we use, what type of data do we use the mode with? We use it when, whenever there is nominal data or any data when we are dealing with frequencies. So here we are focusing on frequencies. The, how many times is something okay? Right? The more it occurs, that's when we say what? It's the mode. So it's important for you to know in what circumstances in life do you actually use the mode. I'll give you an example, some examples. For example, in South Africa, someone might ask and say, what TV program does the average South African watch? The best average to use in such a situation is a mode because the more the people that watch, the better the measure, right? So we're saying uh, gener we have generations, we have Isidingo, and um, uh, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> what else? Uh, okay, let's use Isidingo and, and generations, right? So let's say we have one million people who watch Isidingo on a daily, uh, generations on a daily basis. Uh, yeah, Muvango, that's the other one here. Yeah. Vango. Right. Let's say 90,000 people watch Isidingo daily, and then 80,000 people watch Muvango daily. So it means that Generations has got a higher TV rating than Isidingo and Muvango. Why? Because of the frequency of people watching the show. So now, if I was to close my eyes and throw a stone at random, what is the probability of hitting someone who, uh, who watches Isi, uh, Generations? Obviously, it's higher than Isidingo or Muvango. That means that generally, typically, people in South Africa will watch Generations as opposed to Isidingo. So it means that the things like ratings, voting, where there's counting, it means that the one with the highest frequency is the most common, is the one that occurs most. Therefore, that is the best average to use since that is how we're measuring uh, represent, representativeness, right? So it's important for you to know that when you're dealing with frequencies, the best type of average to use is 
uh, the mode. So thank you very much. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Unleash your mathematical genius today. If you have any maths questions, you can post them for free on www.mathsgenius.co.za or email them to info at mathsgenius.co.za.